last night in Copenhagen. As always, I'm really, really disappointed to leave a place because it's beautiful. It's been fabulous. It's been quite the wholesome trip. I will remember it forever. <laughs> Anyways, melancholic part over. We went to Sweden because it's over the Baltic Sea. 14 minute train journey. We decided why not? We'd regret it if we did it. We came back. I can see that it's a it's an elite sunset. There's no clouds, but I didn't manage to see it because I didn't find a proper place, an open space. We're going out tonight. We are going to this Irish pub that we've been passing for the last two days. It's really just been calling our names, so. And there's also a karaoke bar. So we shall see where the night leads us. three-day trip complete. I, as I said yesterday, do feel very disappointed every time we leave because I really get attached to the new places that we visit. Ticked off every single site that I had for us planned, read the historical facts alongside. It's been very wholesome, so I'm very excited to go back to London. Just take a little break, take a little break from traveling and settle back into a stable existence a more systematic and planned out existence at least until the summer or at least for a month or something i love traveling with all my heart but when it's happening so often it's it is draining it is very draining so we're gonna put not a full stop but a comma a semicolon rather right here and uh take a little break yeah but today because our flights are very very late in the evening we still have a full day to say a Proper farewell to Copenhagen. Talking to myself. Will I see it again? Walking on the dream. Hoping that it's fine. Talking to myself. Will I see it again? I can't make the majority of the time. I'm inspired by the fact that I'm like. All right, guys, so we are now at the airport, the Copenhagen Lufthansa, and uh, we got... Elisa's still trying to learn Danish. She's trying. We have food. We scammed Joe and the juice. We didn't scam, we took advantage. <laughs> we took advantage of Joe and the juice. Mm -hmm. um, really I told you. Mm. And I got myself a tuna bowl. Francesca got a spicy, spicy tuna. tuna. Honestly, mm. this has been a very, very active it was very diverse, we tried a lot of things. What did we learn? We need to we need to deduct some lessons. I think once again we learned that Scandinavian countries in terms of the quality of life are we've also learned that Scandinavian um, countries in terms of the like quality and quantity of price are also quite high. Also everyone on the streets looks like a god. Yeah, my and standards have been raised. Within the Scandinavian group, what used to be the Kalmar Union historically, Sweden, Norway and Denmark. Denmark was in fact the one that dominated the rest. And Copenhagen was considered the capital of the of Scandinavia. Hence why the airport that we're in right now is classified as Scandinavia's biggest, most dominant international airport. So that was an interesting fact for me because I always considered Sweden to be superior, but not anymore because exactly. yeah because it's the biggest one territorially i'm pretty sure well we don't consider finland scandinavia do we mtm 